This is Sam. He's going to walk you through how to take a mold and bacteria sample with the Champion 35 test kit. Before we begin, there are some special contamination concerns. Mold and bacteria contaminants exist everywhere in our environment, unless specifically excluded. The input fitting and the filter union assembly have been disinfected to remove mold and or bacteria contamination, assembled and sealed in a plastic bag to prevent contamination during shipment. Please make sure that when you handle these parts that you don't introduce them to sources of contamination other than the source air that you are testing. Pay careful attention to the tools used, where hands are placed, and where you are exhaling. You do not want these sources to be part of your test. It's best to wear gloves while taking this sample. Step 1. It's important to note that you must have a system line pressure of at least 20 psi to use this equipment. Allow your compressor to run with air flowing for at least five minutes before sampling. While the compressor is running, remove the data sheet from the kit behind the foam lid. Step two, find the orifice plate by unscrewing the noise muffler. The size is etched on the plate. Here are the suggested orifice sizes for your compressor's output PSI. Step three, find the filter number, which is here, and record that on the data sheet under mold and or bacteria sample data. Remove the assembled filter union from the plastic bags. Then remove the plug from the larger input and place it back into the plastic bag. Then connect the union to the PVC flow section. Do not unscrew the filter union. If you are sampling from more than one location, there is a separate filter union for each sample to help avoid contamination. It's important to make sure the filter union and the Champion 35 are screwed in together properly. Double check this before attaching the completed assembly to your air source. Remove the plug from the other end of the union and place in the plastic bag. Step four, immediately connect the completed assembly to your air source. Open the charging lead or air source valve slowly and allow the pressure on the PVC flow section gauge to stabilize. Run the sample according to one of the chart option combinations of orifice size, pressure, and test time specified here. If unable to obtain at least two PSI on the PVC flow section pressure gauge, change to the next smaller orifice plate. Then run the sample according to the chart time. Step five. You have just completed the mold bacteria sampling procedure. If you are not doing any additional sampling, turn off your air source valve and disassemble the sampling equipment from the airline. Remove the union from the PVC flow section and immediately place caps onto the filter union and place in the numbered plastic bag. Seal the bag immediately. Then place that into the secondary supplied plastic bag. If you don't place the filter union into the plastic bag, the sample will be invalid due to possible contamination during shipment and handling. Return each part to the black case. Make sure to check that the data sheet has been correctly and completely filled out. Step six, place all paperwork except the return shipping tag behind the foam lid of the kit or inside the box provided. Step seven, the final step is to ship back the data sheets and kit to TRI air testing. Shipping instructions are included in your kit. After shipping the kit back, there's nothing left to do except wait for the results. You will get a reminder when it's time for your next air test. For any questions and additional support, go to airtesting.com to contact us.